All right, so in the past couple of videos, I've been alluding to this big secret thing that's going on at the end of our van life trip. Truthfully, this is like been a dream in the making since I guess right after I graduated high school. Um, kind of in that time span, I became infatuated with air sports, like skydiving, paramotoring, paragliding, base jumping, speed flying, all that kind of stuff. My first step into that world was with paramotoring, and that's been primarily what I've been doing for the last like four and a half years. But let's move on to this van life trip. We're on the road, and we were in a cafe in Sedona, and Jacqueline brings up, uh, I guess she was on Instagram or whatever, and she's like, hey, Miles Dasher is having a base camp uh, at the end of the month. And I'm like, hmm, let me check that out. So long story short, um, the end of this trip is going to be base camp. A little tiny smidge of background on base jumping because I wanna get into the action of this video ASAP. Base jumping, I think is like the epitome of action sports. I think it's like one of the most dangerous things you can do. However, um, the best way I like to describe it is you're turning something that would normally be tragic jumping off of a bridge into something beautiful you pull out a parachute it opens everything goes perfectly and you fly away i think it's just a really beautiful sport and i'm stoked to get into it i'm also incredibly nervous at the same time jacqueline's going to be helping out because i want to focus as much as i can on actually being in the moment and, and absorbing everything i think that's enough of an intro we're going to roll straight into um tomorrow morning where we are uh, attending the first day of base camp. day one part one of base camp here in Twin Falls. This is kind of phase two of the trip. I'm gonna learn how to base jump here in Twin Falls, miles D. But today's day one. I don't really know what to expect. Um, we're meeting down at the Red Lion to kind of talk and get things situated. Sign some waivers and uh, we'll probably start packing today. Probably not jumping today, we'll see. It's supposed to be windy this week, but let's dive in, see where this goes. I'm freaking stoked. Here's some space jumping, man. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah.
<laughs> gonna run around behind this real quick. Woo! Yeah, nice Tucker. Rad, bro. Way to stomp it. <laughs> Hi guys, so what you missed this morning was some introductions, they signed some waivers, they did some ground school, and then we drove to the bridge, they threw on some gear, and they sent it, and Tucker nailed it, Matt nailed it too, he's the other student, um, they're on their hike back up, I don't know where they're coming up from, but anyway, I'm going to try to get as much footage as I possibly can, but I want to keep this as natural as possible, I don't want to stress them four miles out having the camera in their face all the time. Um, I'll see if Tucker wants to comment on anything when he comes up, but yeah, I'm super stoked for them. I'm super stoked for Tucker. Miles is an awesome dude. If you're gonna learn how to do this, he's your guy. Yeah, Tucker, pump it up, man. Yip ya! All right, how you feeling? Ooh, there's a perfect wall. Yeah, buddy, I'm ready back here when you're ready. Nice. Nice rear riser action. Woo! Keep gust. Here we go. Ready. Set. See ya. Update time. So that moved really fast, as some might say it escalated quickly. I was not expecting us to just go straight into jumping. One, because it's the first day, but two, because of the wind conditions. It's like pretty freaking windy out here. Like Miles was saying, it's kind of borderline of what is no and go. So, but we did it anyway. We, um, we met for breakfast, had a little brief, talked about ourselves and our goals and kind of talked about how the base jump would go, the flow of everything, what we have to do to make it safe and land in the landing area. And then we just went out and did it. Now there's three types of, I guess, uh, exit styles, you could say. One is a PCA or pilot shoot assist. And that's what we did. That's like phase one. That's where Miles holds your bridle uh, for the pilot shoot in one hand and then the pilot shoot in the other. And as you jump off, immediately the canopy starts to be pulled out of the container and it's kind of the safest. You fall the least amount of distance and it's the highest probability of your canopy opening straight. And it went well, like it felt really intuitive. I was more nervous in the, like, the briefing beforehand than actually standing on the edge. By the time you get there, you just kind of are trusting that everything's gonna work. And uh, the biggest thing I was afraid of was just the jumping because I've never been into like diving in a pool or uh, anything like that. So that body awareness is something completely new. The canopy flight is pretty simple. Actually jumping off felt pretty intuitive. Like you just kind of push and then you sit there and you wait and it's just like silence and you kind of feel like you're hovering until that canopy pops off your back and then it's all good. But from here, what we're gonna do is 
go learn how to pack because now we unpack two rigs each. We're gonna learn how to pack them up and hopefully jump our pack jobs. One step is all it takes to get us moving anywhere. And now that we are on our way, I need to say what used to keep us back, but just excuses made to not change. You say I promise to be there in every single way. We're doing this together, every step we take. life update after that packing montage but Jacqueline very well filmed on my back I've got my first solo pack job after only observing miles pack once and using an instructional booklet so I don't really know how good it is um, it's my first one but we'll have to see either tomorrow or the next day tomorrow's supposed to be kind of windy miles said that either he would jump our first pack jobs or we would jump them if we're feeling confident. I kind of think I might try to jump it, just to see. But uh, I guess you guys will have to tune in next time, tomorrow's episode, to see. These episodes are kind of going to be a little informal, just because I'm trying to focus on other things, and Jacqueline's filming stuff. I'm trying. She's doing her best. But they're probably going to be short little informal blurbs like this, just to kind of show you guys what's going on. But at the same time, I'm trying to focus and do my best. So, initial reaction to the first day, freaking awesome. Um, I was nervous, but not that nervous on the ledge. And it turns out it's so far pretty intuitive. So tune in tomorrow. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you like this episode, something completely different. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Till tomorrow, peace out. Yeah.